Hey, we're playing some PAL World. You might be wondering how I got here. Let's go ahead and rewind. I've got about a week's worth of things to show you. The next 20 minutes is about 14 hours of footage. Shout out Graham. This guy wrote entire essays in my comment section, but there was some pretty good info in there and we're gonna be using all of it to finally defeat Blasima with normal settings. You guys called me out in the comments for doing the damage increase. Well, you know what? Fine. Let's go ahead and do it on normal mode. No damage increases, just me against him. All right, let's start where my footage begins. We start breeding a bunch of pals. Now, I wanted to get perfect Anubises for work. I wanted to get perfect Anubises for the raid. I wanted to get a perfect uh, Jetragon for speed. I wanted to get a perfect Fenglope for speed. And I also wanted perfect Jormantides to do the raid. And I also wanted uh, perfect Gobfins to have in my party to buff me. So, there was quite a few pals that I needed to breed. Because of that, I needed to have a lot of cake. As you can see on screen, I'm over here collecting uh, the cows. I'm collecting the chickens. We're going to stick these guys in a bunch of the ranches that uh, are in my fourth base. And a lot of these chickens and cows are going to go ahead and co uh, compensate, condensate, whatever that word is, to make them even better than they are originally. But yeah, so for step number one was get a whole bunch of cake. If you guys don't know how breeding works, I mean, it's really not that complicated. But the, the parent, it has an increased chance of basically giving the child the trait that it already has it has an increased chance so you need to find two parents uh one needs to be a female one needs to be a male oh real shout out that's the perfect jet Ragon right there almost technically uh it could use one more speed i know it has divine dragon whatever anyway it has three of the best speed so perfect no great yes all right there we go. there we go so jet Ragon's out of the way back to the the breeding so you need to find a male and a female of the pal that you want to create, right? The parents. And you want to have good traits on them. Essentially, that's it. And then you can do this in multiple ways. Obviously, you just need to find the right pattern of pals to get what you need. And it's just a whole lot of luck. And during this whole time while I was breeding, obviously, it takes a little while. I was also exploring. That means I was getting a lot of these meteorite drops to increase my stats in preparation for the fight. So you can see here, I'm still breeding Anubises, I'm doing more meteorites. And here, if you guys remember, I accidentally killed the last Selene that I saw. Not this time, I found another one, so I went ahead and caught it. Uh, again, I wish I could have been recording this live, but dude, after I got those like actual essays in my comments, bro, you know, I put my head to the computer, I had to get to work, you know what I mean? This wasn't going to be an easy fight. So, again, I did all this off camera. But, as you can see, we found the Selene. We didn't kill it. It doesn't get caught right away, but it gets caught pretty soon. You guys didn't see that, but I saw that. Anyway. So, breeding. We, I, here's the lucky part. Most of the materials, by materials I mean pals that I needed to make these perfect pals, I already had. Like, I had the building blocks to get to where I needed to be. I had the pals to make Anubis that had decent stats. So of course, for a worker Anubis, you're gonna want um, obviously things like uh, Legend. Uh, how am I already forgetting? Maybe I can see it. Uh, oh, obviously Artisan, Sirius, and Work Slave. I think those are gonna be your goaded things. On a lot of these, I also have Workaholic. I didn't mind Workaholic, it's not the best. Oh, also, here's one thing I did do. I did turn the incubation to zero. That's one thing you guys told me in the comments that, like, wasn't seen as something crazy, cheaty. So I went ahead, and for the sake of me trying to perfect, like, seven, eight pals, or types of pals, and, you know, for the worker Anubises, I needed at least 20. The fighting Anubises, I needed 20. I needed at least like 30 to 40 Jormantides. So like I said, okay, fine. I will lower the incubation speed to one at least to just help me out a little bit. So I did do that, but all of the pals are completely legit. Um, 
you can see me here now that I am really getting into the world of breeding and trying to make the best pals possible I needed to start naming them and also marking them as favorites these are two important things that now I will have to start doing because before I just use whatever pals I get I you know I didn't care about it too much no longer we will start being organized we will start naming we will start favoriting and we will have pals for certain purposes instead of just using random things everywhere we go right so as you can see here this is my worker anubises this is the first thing i trained or bred and again it is uh things anubises with artisan work slave serious workaholic and i think legend those are kind of the ones that you want and I did get quite a few of those. Right after these Anubises, I start breeding the Fenglobes, as you can see here. So what we're looking for is anything that increases the speed. So I'm talking Swift, I'm talking Runner, I'm talking Nimble, and I'm talking Legend. Those are the four greatest speed things. And you can see here, I did manage to get one perfect Fenglobe. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and name it. We're just gonna go with something like speed. Just uh, keep it keep it simple here. I already named the Jetragon McQueen. Shout out Lightning. You know what I mean. Uh, so we did that. So we got a perfect Fenglope. Got out. Yeah, per almost perfect Jetragon. I can't say the Jetragon's perfect because technically it has Divine Dragon instead of Nimble. But we're not gonna talk about it. All right. This is where we kind of get into some of the tips that Graham gave me in the comments. If y'all seen any of the last videos, you'll see essays in the comments. Again, shout out Graham. One of the th first things that I wanted to do was create the memory wiping potion and reset my stats. I currently have a lot of things in like weight, so I stuck them all in attack. I maxed out my attack using the reset potion. The other thing. I think this is this came with the new update, these dog coins, right? We can buy these elixirs, which are really cool, and so we don't have to make them with the flowers, but that is not what we're here for. We are here to buy the mysterious accessory box because this gives me an extra equipment slot. Now, the first one is 100. The second one is 1,000. So I don't have enough for the second extra slot. I don't have 1,000, but... We will buy the 100 one, and this should get us what we need for now. Because, essentially, this will allow us to use two attack pendants, the plus two and the plus one. You can't use two of the same, so I can't use two plus twos, but I can use the plus one, plus two, and technically the zero. So this will allow us to use both types of attack pendants, which is really nice. Now, my next step, again, shout out comments here is collecting gobfins if you guys don't know the special like ability of the gobfin is if it's in your inventory inventory if it's in your like you know party it increases the player's attack and you guys know how important it is to max out your attack with these big fights so i had to catch was it 480 gobfin plus you know obviously the ones that i'm uh, gonna so like really more than that so we needed to get four Gobfin with specifically Vanguard, the Stronghold, and then anything after that is kind of extra, but we really need Vanguard and Stronghold, and we need four of those. Once we have those four, and as you can see here, I got the first one with Vanguard and Stronghold, and again, anything on top is kind of extra, but those are the two things at minimum that we need. And we're going to have to get 480 more Gobfin, to condense into these four because the ability that it increases my attack is dependent on basically how many stars it has so we want to make sure to get each of those to the fourth star now memory wiping potion this thing took forever to make that's why you saw that little cut right there again i'm kind of doing all this um all together all, a bunch of this stuff takes time so i'm kind of split here and there but as you can see we're going to use the memory wiping potion here. We're going to go ahead and enhance our stats. Now our attack needs to be a lot higher. So the first thing we're going to do is max out our attack with, I think you can go up to 200. If I remember correctly, yes, 200. 
and then we'll put the rest of the stats in other places but this was important to at least max out our attack so now let's put all the pieces together right we'll have an extra slot for another attack pendant we'll have gobfin also increasing our attack we will what else i would see now i'm confusing myself the pendant increasing our attack we'll have the gobfin oh one of the pals that i forgot to mention we are also breeding for currently is the azarobe because this is specifically against the blazamut ryu if your the azarobe if you ride it increase i forgot how it was it basically like increases your damage because it's a water type and whatever because wa water is effective against the ryu right so if i'm on top of an azarobe it increases my damage so that is another way we'll also be increasing our damage we'll have to get a good azarobe uh again with vanguard stronghold uh, strategist and some of extra things maybe things like burly body would be nice so it could take a few hits yeah, right now, we're still focused on the Godfin. Again, we need to get four of these. I'm slowly breeding, just trying to get at least four with those minimum stats. And again, anything else on top is a nice little bonus. But I will, you know, I want to do the best I can. I don't know how, you know, if this stuff is going to help me get there. Like, how basically, how easy is it? Is it going to be kind of the same as with my damage increase? Will I just make it will i wipe this thing i'm not sure but i'm going to give myself every chance to beat it using you know normal stats here but i have high hopes i feel like with all these attack increases like there's no way we can lose right pendants personal attack stats as a robe gop fins well even this time we'll use food that's another thing is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make um the 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 burger the burger that gives we i think 20 percent plus more attack we're also gonna make the like the pasta that gives me more defense if you guys don't know so food doesn't stack if it's the same effect so i can't eat the burger get 20 plus and eat something else to give me 10 percent plus only one thing stacks so i'm gonna eat the burger for 20 percent because that's the highest and then i'm gonna eat the pasta for the 20 percent defense which is the highest um so that is also gonna be a thing as you can see here look vanguard strangle stars motivation leader diet lover that's not bad i could probably continue optimizing the third and fourth stats but for now they're good because i don't think there's anything else that directly helps me with increasing my own personal stats and obviously these god pins aren't going to be set out because i'll be on top of the azarobe the whole time now with this azarobe we will also need a couple of them right i'm going to want at least four to five because the one that i'm standing on will inevitably get killed and i want to have extra so along with you know making four god fins, i also will want to make a couple of those so again during this whole time you know, I'm making cake. I'm breeding all of these pals slowly but surely. So I think we did Anubis so far. The work Anubis. We did the Fenglope. We did the Jetragon. Where we did the Gobfins. And you can see here we are now condensating. Con con yeah, condensating. That's not compensation, bro. English. Yeah, condensation. So we're now... Con I need to stop talking. We're condensing everything together to make the perfect gobfins to give me the most attack possible. Which is super nice. And then I think after this, we start working on... Do we start working on the... We either do the uh, Azerobe or the Jormantides after this. Um, but, yeah. And, and I think we also start on the Azerobes. But this, this condensing takes a while. And I had to actually do this... I had to go back to where I got the gobfins a few times. Because I don't know if it looks like it, but 480 gobfins is quite a bit of gobfins. It it really clogs up the pal box. So I had to empty it a few times just to make sure we're not going overboard with it. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I did. I, I think those were, those were the biggest tips. So once again, let's go through them just like mentally, right? So increasing my personal attack using pendants, using the right food, using the gobfins, 
breeding Jormantides, riding an Azerobe. And then the one thing we could do, which I don't think we're going to do, is try to get a better quad missile launcher. Now, I looked it up. I couldn't even find anyone who had one, to be honest. But what I heard was that it's a 0, 0.09. Like, so I'm talking 1 in 2,700 times you go to the oil rig, you might have a chance at it. And that's for all the legendary stuff. Do you guys realize that? Oh, that's another myth that was, I think, debunked in the comments was the oil rig doesn't respawn every three days. It respawns every 30 minutes real time. So basically you get one attempt every 30 ish minutes and it will take an average of 1000 or 2700 ish tries to get one of the legendary items. And obviously you want a lot of the legendary items, right? So, we're gonna, you know, I'll go to the oil rig a few times. My chances of getting it are very slim, though. Alright, Azerobe Saddle, you guys watched me make it just now. So, because we're gonna be on top of it, I need to make the saddle for... Look, I didn't make the saddle for a lot of the more useless pals, or so I thought, them being useless. But actually, this is gonna be an absolute game changer for me. But yeah, so we go ahead, we went ahead and made that. I'm trying to think of what I'm doing next. So, as you can see here, I got the four gob fins. We're gonna go ahead and name them all. Uh, I try to name everything by like kind of what they do. So I'm going to name each Gobfin buff one, buff two, buff three, buff four to signify that these are my buff <laughs> Gobfins. All right. So let's go ahead and name all of these. And then we'll move on to breeding the next one. You guys didn't even know how much cake I needed, but hey, I needed a whole lot of cake. The other thing that's going to take a little while. These Jormantides, they will be fighting the raid boss, meaning they can't be level 1. And here's another meteorite. Yoink. I did get a legendary uh, feather hairband, which obviously is useless to me. But it's still cool that we got it. Our Jormantides can't be level 1. So all of those will need to be leveled up to 55. Now, luckily, I'm kind of at the point in the game where I'll be able to... Take on the bosses repeatedly again and again pretty easily to get a bunch of these Jormen Tides up to 55. It really shouldn't be that big of an issue. It will take a minute. Now, as far as these Jormen Tides, what do we want on them? So, some of the obvious things. We will want Musclehead, Ferocious, and Legend. Those three are kind of musts. Now, there's a couple of other ones that are okay. I think... Uh, what is it? There, There's... Oh, Lord of the Sea is okay because that increases water attacks, which is good. Things like uh, Sadist, Hydromaniac are not great, but they'll do. Uh, Serenity is extremely important. Actually, Serenity is another one that you'll like basically 100% want. I think a perfect Jormantide would be Serenity, Musclehead, Ferocious, and Legend. I think that'd be perfect. Now, I'm not going to get all 40, 50 of the German Tides exactly perfect, but um, as you can see here in a very quick time lapse, I am leveling the German Tides slowly, but surely we'll get them there. I had to do it with a whole bunch of them, but you know, the work has to be done to get the reward. All right, what am I breeding now? Well, <laughs> I just stuck the, the cow with this guy what, what am i making i see a post date oh here's the okay that's what i used to make the azerobe okay so the cow and the other guy make the azerobe i think because i wanted legend on it so i added you know that thing oh man you guys are gonna have to forgive me a little bit obviously everything is just a tiny bit foggier when i record things like this i like to record them live but sometimes when there is so much work to be done it's hard to do everything live because essentially you guys would be getting a 14 hour video right if i did it live and so much of it would be boring i tried to just cut up the important parts again 14 hours of footage i cut up the important parts of me you know maybe just doing some of the hatching stuff like that because you know the, the, this is really the the grindy part of the game this is something that isn't particularly good for videos i mean if you guys want to watch me breed for 14 hours you know like i you're more than welcome to but i don't think you'd want to so i went ahead and excluded it 
as you can see here, we have a couple of Azrobes with Vanguard, Burly Body, and Legend. Um, and some of them have different things. We're getting close. So you can see here, I have a bunch of these Jormantides now. They're all level 55, and I am naming them and favoriting them so I know what to attack with. The other thing we'll have to do, and we'll talk about this when we go live to, for right before the battle, but we're going to have to prepare the box too. I'm going to want all of the things that I'm using for the raid on the first page in the box because obviously I'm going to want to be switching them out. I'll need to do that in an efficient manner. You can see here, Anubises. So I made the work Anubises. Now we're making the fighting Anubises. And it's going to be kind of the same deal that we did with the Jormantides. We're going to want Serenity. We're going to want Musclehead. We're going to want Ferocious. And we're going to want Legend. And then some other things I wouldn't mind. Like if I accidentally got Burly Body... Like, fine, okay? You know what? One of the Anubises can have something like a burly body, and I wouldn't mind it a crazy amount. I think we're just about to wrap up the non-live portion. I'm doing just a little bit of grinding here to get the Anubises up to 55 along with the German Tides. Let's do this. Okay, everybody, we're live. We're about to do the fight. Let's go one more time, summarize everything we're doing. In my party, I have four gob fins, each buffing my attack. I will have the Azerobe that I will be riding that ink that applies water damage to the player's attack. So, against the Blasma Ryu, that'll increase my attack. Inside of my inventory, I have a plus two attack pendant along with a plus one attack pendant. If you want to get spicy with it, you can unlock the fourth equipment slot and you can add the the like technically the plus zero attack pendant to give you an extra five percent attack we're going to be using the legendary rocket launcher along with the multi-guided missile launcher we have food so we have the carbonara to increase defense by 20 we have the the cheeseburger that increases my attack by 20 and of course we have fully maxed out jormantides let me where's my pal box they are all level 55. They all have a combination of things like Legend, Musclehead, Ferocious, Lord of the Sea. Some of them have Divine Dragon, which isn't good, but it is what it is. But, yep, as you can see, we have a full uh, army of them. We also have a bunch of spares. Along with that, for the second form, we want Anubises because you'll want ground or earth attacks, right? So we got some level 5 Anubises with, once again, Ferocious serenity musclehead uh lord of the sea is not good for this but again it's hard to get every single one perfect i think this will work for us and yeah that's kind of about it i'm trying to think if if i forgot anything else but of course with this you'll want some form of plus steel armor you'll want the ultra shield plus steel helmet if you have better stuff than this wonderful also max out your attack stat here as you can see use a memory wiping potion if needed but yeah, that is really about it. I think we're going to go ahead and do the fight. Now, this is a little painful, but I'm going to have to do the fight next video because this video is already heading into 30-minute territory, and also that preparation took a long time. I hope you guys can, can at least appreciate how much work I did in a single video. All of the work was in a single video. Again, I hope you guys understand why I'm doing the, the fight next video, but yeah, we're here. I, be, I We're going to be successful. I believe it. I have done everything to put myself in a good position, so we're going to take it down, and then we will have to start preparations for the legendary version of the Ryu, which I'm starting to think is completely impossible solo, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try after this fight so anyway guys i will see you next video right right when you open up the next video which will be tomorrow we will be starting the fight off rip right away that second so guys thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow